In South Florida, too many horse owners who can't afford to keep their animals anymore are simply abandoning them. Skinny, sickly horses are wandering onto other people's property looking for something to eat. With the tough economy, the South Florida Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals is doing their best to take in as many horses as they can, but the situation is turning into mission impossible. We were up around 60, but several of the horses were claimed recently and uh, a few have been uh, adopted, thank goodness. So our numbers are back down around 40, but really 15 to 20 is what we can financially handle. This is Lollipop, a stray picked up in Hialeah. With her condition, this hoof, her leg was obviously broken, injured at some point, and it was never cared for. So she's kind of accommodated herself to that injury, but this is a clear case of neglect. Lollipop gave birth just days after being rescued by the SPCA. Her baby, Caruso, is in good condition. Other stables are helping care for abandoned horses, too. At Peaceful Trail Stable in Coconut Creek, Cindy Lane founded Hearts for Horses, a nonprofit organization. I just determined that it was the best thing to do to try to open my facility as a rescue. The stories of these animals are heartbreaking. One horse, Butterfly, eventually made her way to Hearts for Horses, but it was too late. We only had her for five days, but she was so starved and so skinny um, and not strong enough to stand when she laid down. Some of these horses abandoned near these fields in Hialeah. Horses are expensive to care for, costing at least $300 a month for food alone. But they certainly don't deserve to be left in fields without food or water. And a lot of times the owners will just sell them to slaughterhouses or just leave them in a field. It seems to me that a lot of people are just leaving horses in a field to, you know, fend for themselves. Owning horses costs a lot. The SPCA spends about a quarter of a million dollars a year on their horses, and empty stalls are running low. There needs to be more rescue facilities opened up everywhere, in my opinion. All barn owners should, like, open a stall or two or whatever they can do right now, because it's really getting bad out there. People adopting horses are needed, but once involved, the SPCA stays involved. SPCA always remains the owner of the animal. So that if the animal starts on a downward spiral again after adoption, we can legally go in and quickly, without having to go to court, we put the halter on and say, we're sorry you didn't take care of this horse. If you want to contribute money, help volunteer, or even adopt a horse, you can reach out to the SPCA or Hearts for Horses. For UMTV, I'm Jenny Antonelli.